Okay, right, we're going to have a look at the basic parts of Fusion 360. And basically, you most of the time, you produce a sketch, which will be a two-dimensional shape, and then you extrude it. Let's have a look. So if you click on where it's got the shape tools, you've got a range of different shapes that you can use. Most of the time, we'll just be using the basic shapes. So even a rectangle, you can draw it in different ways. Let's just pick on the top one. Now you can see here that unlike drawing on a piece of paper where it's flat, we can draw in three different dimensions. We can either draw on the bottom, to one side, or to another side. It doesn't really matter what we're going to do. You can move it around later on. So for this, I'm going to pick on this side here. Now it's quite good practice to always start your drawing using the center point. So I'm going to click and as you move your mouse out you can see that there's different sizes for the rectangle. I'm just going to click any kind of place for the time being just like so. It's now created a kind of a colored box. Every time you do a sketch you have to press stop sketch to finish it. Then what we want to do, these two buttons, extrude and press pull, do very, very similar things. You can really use both of them. I'm going to choose extrude and then you click or select the part that you want to extrude. So click it there and as you can see we've got a box with lots of different dimensions and things Again, for the time being, I'm just going to drag it out just so you can get an idea of it. When you've got it how you want, you can either press OK or you can press Enter or Return on your keyboard. And now you've got your basic shape. If you want to see around the shape, you've got this viewing cube here. And you can do a range of things. You can either click on it and it spins around. You can press the little arrows and rotate it. Or you can hold it and drag it. Okay, So there's a range of different things that you can do. If you ever kind of lose your shape or it goes in a funny angle, if you press the home button, it will go back to this view. Hopefully, you know what this view is called now. If you want to move it side by side, there's a hand button. And you can move it around to pan it like that. Okay, So they're the basic parts of kind of moving your, moving your shape. If you want to draw something else on top, or to one of the other faces, you do the same process. So this time I'm going to select a different shape. I'm going to select a circle. Again, there's different ways to draw the circles. We're just going to choose the first one, which is usually the most simple. And this time, you select which face you want to draw onto your cube. So I'm going to draw on the front here. And as you click it, it spins so that you can see that part. I'm going to choose on one side, again, I'm going to click, move it out, click again, and either there or there I can stop the sketch. Can you remember what we do now? We need to extrude this part. So we go to extrude, or press pull, doesn't really matter, and select the part that you want. So this time you can select either the circle or you could select the part that isn't the circle, the negative space. I'm going to select the circle, and again, you can pull it out and press OK. So now we've got our, our shape. If you want to spin it around, another way that you can do it, I'm working on a Mac, you can hold down Shift. No, you can't. I'm lying. Ignore that. I think that's on the PC. So you can spin it around, and now you can see what almost looks like a camera. A few other bits, if you wanted to do a part that goes in, so I might want to have, again, on this circle, I might want to draw another circle within a circle. You see that little uh, blue circle that comes up? That means it's going to be right in the center. So I'm going to click there, drag out a shape, enter it, stop my sketch. This time, if I press extrude and click it, instead of pulling it out, I can push it in. 
And as you'll see here, it now says cut instead of, if you have a look while I do it, it says join and cut. Okay, so it works out that you're going to be cutting the material out. Okay, so you can see there, I've now got it going in. Okay, so the basic parts, just for the time being, have a play, select a, uh, a shape that you want to do, select a face, click and drag, stop the sketch, extrude, and then you can pull it as to how you want, and just click enter. Alright, go and have a play.